Mkoli Situkwane has set the bar high. His address highlighted various ways of restoring the integrity and credibility of the provincial government. One billion rand has been allocated to expedite the road maintenance and construction backlog. This is in an effort to fast track work on the road infrastructure that forms the backbone of the provincial economy. The digital state of our road infrastructure is a starting block for economic development. While we will spend approximately one point nine billion a rare and upgrade and maintain our own infrastructure this year. It is imperative that we change the way the means in which home services deliver their lives. International best practices have shown that road construction can happen in a more efficient and effective way. Asbestos roof removal will also be a priority. 36,000 houses across the province still have asbestos roofs. Projects such as the Malodi Apofung Special Economic Zone and the Multi Billion Rands Virginia project for gas extraction will soon be completed. The eradication of bucket toilets is also in the pipeline. Opposition parties say it's time for action. He didn't mention the impact of load shedding on our people in the province and action steps that he might take to mitigate that. I know the Premier of the Western Cape allocated a billion rand to mitigate the impacts of load shedding. ANC is just being ANC. Nice rhetoric and no practice at all. We want to see things being done. That's the only way to inspire hope to a masses of our people that have been dejected. Some of them do not have houses. Some of them cannot even go to school because these people, his comrades have stolen money. Activists say job opportunities should be created and sustained. The unemployment rate in the free state has increased from 33.8 to 34.6 percent in the fourth quarter. The most important thing is unemployment, which must be at least we must reach 80 percent uh, of employment in, in, in the free state. And now that the budget of 156 million that he has put for Mangawu, it must benefit uh, people of Mangawu. A new fraud and corruption task team will also be established to drive the anti-corruption program. Municipalities will be assisted to improve service delivery. Apumelele Mzalane, SABC News, Bloemfontein.